Hi, this is Svenja and we continue with ear training. Today's topic of the series are six. This is a really typical interval in country music. Like with seconds and thirds, we've got flat six and major six. And now let's see how this interval looks like on the fretboard. The flat six is eight semitones away from the root note. So when we start on the A in the fifth fret on the lower E string again, you find the flat six F in the 13th fret. The major 6 is 9 semitones away from the root note, and now we are in the 14th fret on the F sharp. You play 6 over the fretboard by skipping strings, but you can also play them on adjacent strings. Especially in blues, it's quite common that you change between the fifths and the major six. So in A, you would change between the seventh and the ninth fret on the A string, while you play the lower E string in the fifth fret. Like this. So now, when you want to play flat six with string skipping, you start on the A and play the D string, in the third fret. This pattern only stays the same for the E and D and the A and G string. When you want to play a flat 6 from the D string in the fifth fret, you play the B string in the fourth fret. And this pattern stays the same for the G and the higher E string. Now, I will play you flat 6 over all strings so that you can have a listen. For the major 6, you move your finger on the higher of the two strings up one foot. So beginning from the A, you play the D string in the 4th fret. Again, this pattern stays the same only for the E and D and A and G string. When you want to play A major 6 from the D string in the 5th fret, you play the B string also in the 5th fret. And again, this pattern stays the same for the G and the higher E string. Now, have a listen. Go ahead and also play 6 on adjacent strings. For the beginning, choose a higher position like the 7th or 8th fret. Especially when you're not stretching your fretting hand regularly, this position is more comfy and you avoid injuries. When you like this video and want to support me, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. When you want to get notified about new videos, also don't forget to click on the bell icon. Now I'd like to thank you for watching and until next time, keep grooving!